My game is really played above time. I don't say that like I'm saying I'm ahead of my time. I treated it like every day was my last day with a basketball. I don't need too much. Glamour and all that stuff don't excite me. I am just glad I have the game of basketball in my life. I make impact plays. I make game-changing plays. I feel my calling here goes above basketball. There's no reason to play in the NBA if you don't believe you can win it all. I'm like a superhero. Call me Basketball Man. The first time I stepped on an NBA court, I became a businessman. I hate letting my teammates down. I know I'm not going to make every shot. Sometimes I try to make the right play, and if it results in a loss, I feel awful. I don't feel awful because I have to answer questions about it. I feel awful in that locker room because I could have done something more to help my teammates win. I think team first. It allows me to succeed. It allows my team to succeed. This is a job and we want to have fun. But it's a job and we should look like we're going to work. There are some teams and logos you see, no matter where you are in the world, and you know exactly who they are and what they mean. When you have that respect from your teammates, it makes it a lot more comfortable. When you have one of the best players on the court being unselfish, I think that transfers to the other players. Maybe my pain was motivation. People will hate you, break you, shake you, and break you. But how strong you stand is what makes you. I'm not MJ, MLJ. You have to be able to accept failure to get better. I always say, decisions I make, I live with them. There are always ways you can correct them or ways you can do them better. At the end of the day, I live with them. But ever since I was kid, I always the winner.